Every signal must have a well-defined path between its source and destination, which is why proper constraints can help ensure the success of your high-speed designs. For example, when transitioning high-speed signals, visual markers indicate missing return path vias once you've completed the connection. Mouse over the DRC to get more information about the error. You can easily fix the issue by adding necessary ground vias. As you can see, a ground via is added for each signal. And when it comes to common mode noise, dynamic phasing is simple. Here, there's a differential pair dynamic phase tolerance issue. Simply add or remove lint to your diff pair to meet your target goals. Phase tuning helps prevent signal skews, ensuring fewer bit errors. And a heads-up display helps make sure that your signals meet their constraints. You can also use parallelism checks to help reduce dual strip line coupling by identifying signal overlaps. If you don't have a ground plane between two routing layers, signals can couple to each other, which is bad. Simply slide the diff pairs apart to reduce EMI. By setting up your high-speed rules, you can minimize signal integrity issues and quickly optimize your design.